Hey guys, Michael with Mealy Marine, and today we are working on probably the most expensive boat that is here at the shop. This is a Dargle Cat 25 something HDX, something crazy. This thing has every bell and whistle you could possibly want on a boat. And uh, he came and when he dropped off the boat, he says, is there anything that I'm missing? And we were like, the only thing you're missing is a graph up front for when you're fishing on your little tower thing here. But not really necessary because most of these guys fish in about this much water. And he goes, F it, let's put one on. Okay, man, let's do it. What? And so I was like, okay, cool. So we got all the parts here. So he got a uh, 1243 XSV from Garmin. We're gonna put a GT56 transducer on the back because he brought his boat one day and goes, hey, my 3-1 transducer isn't reading. And so me and Hugh spent 30, 40 minutes trying to figure out where it was because we thought maybe it's through hole, in hole, we don't know. Uh, and it was actually coming off the trolling motor, which is really, really silly. You're an expert. So we're gonna put one on the back we got network cables and all sorts of things. So a quick rundown of what we're going to do. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount the 1243 right here. We have this mount with another piece. We're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do. This is not tight, but this is gonna go here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to run the wiring through the tubes so it looks super duper clean. I'm a little nervous about that. I've only done it a couple times, but I think we'll be able to figure it out. The biggest thing is if anybody knows, those network cables from Garmin are ginormous. So we're gonna have to cut one end to get it to run. And they have like little kits that you can build the cable. So we're going to do that. We're going to run the network cable and the power cable back to the console. And then we're going to network everything there. Then for the back of the boat, we're going to install the GT56 on the transom and run the wiring to the console and everything will be working together nicely. And we're gonna try to get this done today. It's about 7.30 in the morning. And as my dad likes to say, it's a bit nippy outside. It's like 56 degrees. My dad likes to give you weather updates. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get to this. We're gonna start running snakes and then we're gonna split off. I'm gonna work up here. Hugh's gonna work at the back. And then when Hugh's done, he's gonna come help me finish up up here. So without further ado, let's get into it. So it's been a very long day getting this all finished up and I think it turned out really cool. I'm extremely proud of how this turned out. It's really cool to maybe think that you're one of the first people to do this. This is a radar mount, not a radar mount, a, um, an antenna mount that uh, we kind of formed to put this graph on. And as you guys can tell, you can't see the wires. Wires are going in through. We got one spot where it comes out and goes down into the tube. We ran it all the way to the console. We'll take you guys over here. Got the network and the power ran. We got the power hooked up to this Perco switch right here. And then we realized that we ran out of 
network port, so we had to install the network port expander thing from Garmin, which we put right there. He did a really good job. It looks super clean, looks factory. We did that and we also ran, we're gonna jump out of the boat here in a minute, but we ran the GT56 transducer to this graph right here. So we're all networked. I think in the future, probably the only other thing this customer could do is maybe upgrade this to to an 86 series graph. And what that would give him the ability to do is run two transducers instead of one. Um, he is running two transducers, but there's like some kind of transducer box under there. You don't know what you're talking about. So maybe we could put another one. I, I don't know, I don't know. This is kind of getting like out of the realm of things that we normally do. Well, that's it for this week's video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, please be sure to like, subscribe and share and uh, tell us what you think of this dargle. Tell us what you think of the installation job up front. But please remember, this is a customer's boat. This is what the customer wanted and this is what the customer paid for. So at least be a little bit kind down in the comments. I don't think he really cares because he's got all the money in the world. So. That's it. If you guys are in the Houston area, please be sure to check us out, mealymarineservices.com, and we can do something super cool like this to your boat. This is one of a kind. No one else has something that crazy up front. And uh, yeah, that's it. Until next time, guys.